I'd like to do a short book review today of a book that's really meant a lot to me and influenced the direction I've taken as an attorney. It's a book called Gideon's Trumpet by Anthony Lewis, published in 1964. As you may be able to tell, it tells the story of Clarence Gideon in the famous case that resulted from his prosecution, Gideon versus Wainwright, at which the U.S. Supreme Court first recognized in the States a criminal defendant's right to an attorney if they can't afford one. I read this book um, after I had applied to law school and while I was waiting for law school to begin. Uh, at the time, I wanted to be a state prosecutor, and um, I still have a lot of respect for prosecution, but this book really kind of started that mental path for me toward criminal defense. In fact, when I applied for a job with the Federal Public Defender's Office, I described the influence that this book had on me in my statement of, of purpose. One of the things that I think is important about a book like this is it reminds you that there's a real person in a real story behind all of these famous cases. And it's also a story of right and wrong, it's a story of justice, and it's a story of first principles. It's an instance where an individual, Clarence Gideon, at multiple times in the process, simply raised his hand and said, what I think is, hap what is happening here, I don't think is fair. I can't afford an attorney, and I'm being treated differently than everyone else who can. I should be provided an attorney. Today, it's so second nature that we have this rule that it's hard to really remember sometimes that prior to 1962, 1963, 1964 in the state system, we didn't have these privileges that we now hold so central under the Sixth Amendment. I highly recommend this book and I hope you'll read it. Mm -hmm.